When the kids first come in, they've never seen a Mac before, period. Like, they're scared of them. My name is Roderick Leverett. I'm a career technical education teacher at Gardena High School. As a career technical education teacher, we're allowed to apply for Perkins grants, which helps fund the non-academic classes. So it took about three years for me to get this room the way it is now. Everything in here is brand new. We have brand new computers, furniture, brand new everything. And I'm still applying for grants to try to just tighten things up and give the kids equipment that they would see in the real world. When the students first come into my class, everything is pretty structured for them. They're learning basics of editing and they're just kind of following the steps step by step, how to ingest media, how to edit the media, then drag it down into your sequence or your timeline. And I show them exactly what to do and exactly what I want from them. So by the time that they get to their second or third year, they have a little more autonomy. They can actually start to make some of those decisions themselves because now their creativity has been developed a little more and a little more comfortable with themselves in making decisions. One of my biggest obstacles in the beginning, we were working all off of SD cards. Each student edit their own version of the same video. So as you can imagine, if everybody's passing around the SD card, it takes forever just to import it. I was trying to go so fast, like to get projects done at a certain time, they really didn't get into it because they spent most of their time importing. So when I reached out to LumaForge, this is my dilemma. <laughs> I have all these kids, I need them to be able to grab the same footage and use the same footage from the same place so I can only have to import once. And it just turns out that this was like exactly what I was looking for. Like I've never looked into shared storage or anything like that. I just kind of learned it on the fly. LumaForge was great, helped me figure things out and really being patient with me because at the time I was writing the grant at the same time. So it speeds up the workflow a whole lot more. And the kids, they get focused on the creativity part of editing now more than the tech part of just trying to get it in and waiting and waiting and waiting like we had a student that finally realized what the jellyfish was actually for like so that you can work from anywhere as long as it's saved on a shared storage i can work on the same thing that you're working on from over here and that brings a whole nother level of collaboration the whole idea behind the creative arts academy is to not only expose students to the art and their creative side, but bring that creative side into their academic classes to try to marry the two. It's been really cool to have LumaForge's team behind us because based off of very early conversations with what I was trying to do and go for, getting the kids to collaborate all at the same time, then all of a sudden I would get an email saying, hey, this Adobe Teams thing is coming out and it sounds like it's what you were looking for. The fact that LumaForge listens and also follows up because they really could just sell you the equipment and be gone. So that has not been the case and it's it's been really cool. So I still look forward to um, continuing that relationship and that partnership and I hope it grows even further. I would definitely recommend any teacher that is interested in share storage to look into LumaForge. It's actually pretty easy to set up once you learn it. And then it's just seamless after that. It's like you don't really think about it. Our motto for CAA is do what you love, love what you do. Here at Gardena, we also want to develop their professional side, their etiquette side, their respect side, them having to step up and be leaders and lead a group and just seeing some of the decisions that they make and I can see myself in some of them doing those things, that's actually really motivating, that's really cool. That brings you back the next day. So we're just trying to get them passionate about something. It's not about what we want you to be passionate about, but what is your passion? We're trying to figure that out so it can help them find themselves and learn the skills, how to get there, that they can use to get a job out there in the real world.